We've finally got our hands on the new Chevy Colorado. And in this video, I've got a bouquet of bulbs in my left hand. I've got a lux meter in my right hand. We're gonna install these things one by one and see which bulb is the brightest in your Chevy Colorado. So follow me, let's get this thing started. Now we're gonna be using a digital lux meter today to tell you guys exactly how dim or how bright one of these bulbs are. Lux is the best way to tell exactly how bright a particular light source is. Lumens don't really get the job done, so if you see those Amazon bulbs saying 10,000 lumens, they don't really paint the full picture like you're about to see today. So let's start with halogen. Now, from the factory, this truck comes with a halogen H11 bulb in the low beam. It is a projector-based vehicle, and so, LED bulbs only recently just started working well in projectors in the last year or so. So let's get these things installed. Let's see what happens. So we've got our Chevy Colorado pulled back about 25 feet from our white wall here. And as you can see, this is what the stock beam pattern looks like. And now I totally get why you guys are here with me watching this video right now. 180 maximum lux is what we got with our digital lux meter. That's not super bright, to be honest. It's about as bright as the fog lights are on this particular truck. Let's see what we can do with some of the more popular LED options on the market today. Now this bulb is unique in that it is the only one in my hand that is made in the USA. This is the SL1 bulb from Diode Dynamics. As you can see, we do have a small external driver. Got a really nice construction quality here. It's, it's definitely uh, got some weight to it. It's a good looking bulb. Let's see how it does. So we've got the Diode Dynamics SL1 bulb installed now, and this came in at 270 maximum lux. As you can see, they do a pretty good job of maintaining that factory beam pattern. And remember, no matter what LED bulb you choose, an LED bulb will never improve your factory beam pattern. It will only brighten it. 270 lux is not bad. It is an upgrade. We did pick up 90 lux, but I think we could do better. Let's keep going in the testing. Now this one is a crowd favorite. This one we get a lot of YouTube comments on. Hey, can you test this bulb? It's one we sell here. This is the Morimoto Two Stroke 2.0. Fits a lot of applications, it is fan based. It's got a small external driver. A lot of these bulbs have that in common. And honestly, I have high hopes for this one. I can't wait to see how it does. Now the Morimoto Two Stroke is a noticeable upgrade over stock. That came in at 420 maximum lux compared to 180, not bad at all. We do have a little shadow in the middle and I'm not quite sure what would cause that. We've got our left and right beam patterns. They're pretty identifiable, but as you can see, we've got that dark little triangle going on. I'm not super impressed with that. Let's keep going and see if we can make that go away. Next up is the SV4 bulb, and you've probably seen this one tested quite a bit on this channel. It actually wins a considerable amount of our testing here that we do off camera. It's got a larger external driver. It does fit most headlights, even with the dust cover. We're gonna see if it fits this one. And honestly, once again, I have high hopes for this one too. Now here we've got the SV4 bulb, and as you can see, we have a clean cutoff line, we've got a clean beam pattern, and we do have our left and right identifiable hotspots. This came in at 720 maximum lux. We do see a return of that shadowy triangle in the middle, but it's definitely not as pronounced as it was with some of the other bulbs. That shadow on the bottom right has seemed to have gone away a little bit as well. Still there, but it's diminished. As you can see, this one would be pretty good at night. This is gonna punch down the road quite a ways. And once again, we maintain that nice factory beam pattern. Super important. This is the new GTR Lighting Ultra Series 2 bulb. The last Ultra Series bulb was passively cooled. This one, as you can see here, has a fan. It is fan-based. A lot of new LED bulbs are fan-based. They've made the fans a lot better, especially as you get up in the price range on those more premium bulbs. We don't see them failing like they used to several years ago. Small external driver in any of this testing. Honestly, you guys are gonna be just as surprised as me with these results. Now here we've got the GTR Lighting Ultra 2 bulb. And as you can see, we've got a lot of light going on here. We've gotten rid of that dark triangle shadow in the middle. We do still have a little shadowing on the bottom right there and I'm seeing that trend with several of these bulbs so I'm starting to think it's just a Chevy Colorado thing so I'm not going to take any points away from any of these bulbs for that shadowing in fact if you even look at the halogen beam pattern you can see it does darken down a little bit down there not sure what's going on it might just be limited to this truck but it's worth mentioning. The GTR Lighting Ultra Series 2 bulb came in at 650 maximum lux. Now, when it comes to making a decision on the headlights for your truck, as you can see, you've got a couple of different options here. And that was really the intention of this video, to just show you guys, hey, if you bought this bulb, this is what you'd get. If you bought this one, this is what you'd get. I hope this video was helpful. It definitely helps us make recommendations in the future. And it's really cool to see the differences that these bulbs and the chips they use make on the beam pattern and the brightness. So there's a few good options you could choose for your Chevy Colorado headlights. Now, for some of you, that's all you had to see. You can make your decision now. For the rest of you guys that need to see how to install it, I'm gonna show you guys one of the easiest lighting installs you can do. Now, on the driver's side, there's absolutely nothing in the way. There's a couple dust covers, that's it. On the passenger side, there is a piece of flexible plastic. You can pull it back and reach those same dust covers. Nothing to it at all. You can do this at home in five minutes. 
So I'm gonna show you how to do it on the driver's side. So right here, we've got our low beam dust cover. It's kind of in the fender a little ways. You can twist it counterclockwise, pull it toward you to remove it. Remove it from the vehicle. Inside there, you'll find your low beam bulb. Press in on the little tab to release the wiring harness. Twist the bulb counterclockwise. It'll look like this. At this point, you can install whichever LED bulb you'd like to run in your vehicle. Now here we've got our high beam dust cover. It's the exact same process as low beam. Go ahead and turn it counterclockwise to remove it. And I recommend just running the same bulb you chose for your low beam and your high beam. Honestly, just about everything we tested in the high beam performed really well. So you really can't make a bad decision. If you choose the diode dynamics low beam, might as well run the diode dynamics high beam. Same with the SV4, GTR lighting ultra series, and anything else. As you guys can tell, the results speak for themselves, and that is why we're doing these shootouts. Rather than just telling you guys, hey, buy this bulb, it's good, if I can bring you guys with me, do a little Headlight Revolution ride along, and show you guys firsthand exactly what you would get if you bought any one of these bulbs, trust me, if you bought these bulbs at home, install them in your garage, shine them at the wall, you'd see exactly what we saw today. So I hope you found this video enjoyable. If you need anything else for your Chevy Colorado, or maybe you got another truck, car at home, whatever, by all means, subscribe to the channel. We got a lot coming out.